Hey guys, it's Jordan here, and uh, today I'm going to teach you how to play Why Georgia by John Mayer. Uh, it's a really awesome song, and it's got a really cool guitar part, so here it goes. I'll give you a little demonstration. So that's the gist of it. Um, it's not played exactly like the original. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how he plays it, but uh, I learned this from another video on YouTube and uh, I thought it was a really cool way to play. So I wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys. So I'm gonna move a little closer to the camera so that you can see what's going on over here. All right, so first shape we have is similar to a G chord. However, uh, when you get into this shape, what you're going to do is put your middle finger on the third fret of the low E string, or the top string right here, string number six. Your ring finger is going to go on the third fret of the B string, or your second string, which is the second from the bottom. And uh, that's what it's going to be to start off and during the chord you're going to end up hammering on with your index finger so make sure to keep that available like that so to start off you're going to hit the low E string with your thumb and then you're going to pluck the G and B strings which is the second and third strings I like using my index and middle finger the other guy who I learned it from, he liked using his middle and ring finger, so whatever's more comfortable for you. Alright, so you get... And that's where you hammer on that index finger. So you're going to hammer it onto the second fret of the G string. guitar so uh, don't actually hit it hard but uh just like put your hand down on the string like that it's sort of like chunking but you're just gonna hit so it's a little quicker and then as soon as you hit it get that thumb on the A string and just play an open A. And uh, as you hit that A string, you want to slide your index finger up to the D string on the 4th fret. Because after you hit that A, you want to hit the A and the D string at the same time. hit the G string open and then after you hit that you want to go you want to hit and then uh, five four three still only holding down that index finger on the D string fourth fret so that little part right there is that part it slowed down a lot uh, full tempo it's gonna be like all right 
right so you want to practice that a little bit before moving on to the next part make sure you remember everything and uh, get it down because that part's pretty difficult and the next part only gets a little harder it's not an easy song to play at all um, so the next part is based off of a C add 9 chord but it's uh, switched up a little bit so you want your middle finger to be on the third fret of the A string which is a C note right there that's your bass in the chord and then your ring finger is going to go on the third fret of the B string just like it was in the first chord and then your index finger is going to go on that second fret of the G string or the third string like that and that's the base of your chord right there That's what that part goes like. It's not very easy at all. But anyway, to start off, you want to pluck the A string with your thumb. And whichever two fingers you used to uh, pluck before, I would recommend using them here too so that you don't lose that flow that you got used to. So it starts off almost the same way with the A and then those two strings being plucked and then a hammer on however this time the hammer on is your pinky going on to the fourth fret of the G string and then you want to lift up that pinky and kind of strum with your index finger. And when you strum, you want to pull off with your index finger so that you get the open G string. And while you pull off, you kind of want to pull on the string so that it makes it sound louder. And then you want to put your index finger on the D string 2nd fret. And you want to pick the uh, D string and then the G string with your thumb and index finger. practice that a little bit that's the part you're up to all right so we have this and then it goes back to you want to do the same thing you did before when you strum have that index finger back on the uh, second fret of the G string same pull off move so after that pull off you want to play the A string again which is uh, going to have the middle finger on the third fret still. Your middle finger and ring finger don't move at all during this part. So that A string and the B and G string at the same time again. So after you do that, you want to hit the strings again get that sound and then the A string the B and G strings at the same time and then that hammer on with the pinky alright so
so that's basically uh, all of what the verse is. And um, after that comes a pre-chorus, the chorus, and the bridge. And I still have to teach you guys that, but I'm running out of time, so I'm going to make another lesson. This will be part one. I'll have part two up. I'll put a little link right up there. Um, and I'll also up there, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, make sure to check out my channel page. Check out all my other lessons. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope I helped.